G'day guys, welcome to a new video. This week I wanna show you a program that I found a couple of weeks ago. I really, really wanted Photoshop, but I didn't wanna pay that subscription fee. So I found this program called Affinity Photo. Now it is very, very much like Photoshop without the subscription fee. So it is really worth a look. If you've always wanted Photoshop, but you don't wanna do that monthly subscription, take a look at Affinity Photo. Guys, I'm not affiliated with Affinity Photo in any way, shape or form, but uh, since finding this program, I have really loved using it, and I just wanna let you guys know that it is out there. You can get it for the Mac, Windows and iPad. Here in Australia on the App Store, it is $79.99. I believe in the US it's $49. So we're well worth a look if you've always wanted Photoshop, but you don't want to pay that monthly subscription. So I've got this photo here of Bill and Ted out fishing. Until recently, Bill and Ted were really great friends, but until Ted has run off with Bill's wife. But Bill really loves this photo. He wants to hang it on his wall at home but he can't have Ted in it anymore. So we're gonna help Bill out and we're gonna get rid of Ted. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna make sure we've got layers selected and we're gonna come right down the bottom here and add a new pixel layer. So we've got a new pixel layer here. The next thing that we're going to do is find our in-painting brush and it is over here on the toolbar and you see that little triangle in the corner, it means there's more tools there. So you've got the option to pick all these tools from the healing brush tool, and the one we want today is the in-painting tool or the content aware fill tool. So now we've got our painting tool, we wanna to come up to the toolbar here. We've got our, the width is the size of the brush and you can resize that brush up here. All you have to do is drag, click and drag on the words width and that will make that brush bigger or smaller. Or you can use your right and left bracket keys on your keyboard to resize that brush. We're gonna keep our opacity at 100%. We're gonna keep our flow at 100%, and we're gonna have our hardness set to 80. Again, you can change these values here just by clicking and dragging on the word. So we're gonna keep ours at 80% here. And also along here, we are gonna click on current layer and below. So what we're doing here is we're sampling from our new pixel layer here and the layer below. So we're all set. We're gonna go over to our picture of Bill and Ted. And finally, Bill is gonna be very happy because we're gonna get rid of Ted. <coughs> Ted is about to be a missing fisherman. So first thing, I'm just gonna make my brush a little bit smaller like I said, with that right arrow bracket key. And I'm just gonna paint over Ted's fishing rod all the way down to the bottom. Let's see. Bang, got rid of Ted's fishing rod. So next we're gonna turn our attention to Ted. Bill is really anxious to get rid of Ted. So we're gonna just make that brush a little bit bigger and we're just gonna paint over Ted and see if we can get rid of him. And there we go, Ted's gone. But we can see just a little bit down here of his feet. So we might just make that brush a little bit smaller. I might just zoom in a little bit as well. And to do that, I'm gonna hit Command and Plus on my keyboard. If you hit the space bar, it'll turn the cursor into the hand and you can just move that picture around a little bit as well. So we're just gonna go right down here and make that brush a little bit smaller again. And we're just going to see if we can just slightly remove that little bit as well, which we have done. Zooming out again, which is Command minus. We've got one more thing to take care of in this photo, and that is the shadow. And that is a little bit harder. Some of these really dark areas, the in-painting toolbrush does struggle a little bit. What I like to do is just sort of a little bit at a time. And you do have to probably go over it a few times just to get rid of that shadow altogether. So we'll do that a few times. Make that brush a bit bigger. We'll slowly get rid of that shadow. Just 
just clean up those edges a little bit make that brush a little bit one sort of big sweep over the whole thing as I said it doesn't do an absolute perfect job in that shadow but it is not too bad and you can always go back with your clone tool a little bit later on to clean that up a little bit more so there you go guys Bill is a very happy man we've got rid of Ted for him he can now hang the photo on his wall without being reminded of Ted every day so guys if you've liked this tutorial on Affinity Photo please give it a thumbs up please consider subscribing and until next time I'm going to say to you be brave go out and do something amazing and I'll see you in the next video